Hello there, Dan the Weatherman here. Hey, welcome to my weather show. This is the global edition where I look at things going on around the globe weather-wise and there's always some active stuff going on. We're heading into the business end of spring in the northern hemisphere and down south you've got autumn really starting to knock on the doorsteps of winter and some big stuff going on. First off, showing you this wide shot, one thing to point out, you can see these blobs of cloud here. This is really some oomph across the North Pacific. The jet stream, Mother Nature's taken the jet stream and turned it into a fire hose this week. <laughs> straight through and these are the storm systems working through. We've had some real twists of temperature over the course of the past couple of weeks across uh, eastern parts of Asia and that will in turn bring some pretty active weather. Can you see that red area there? That's the jet stream. That's the fire hose jet stream of sorts. When you've got good speed that creates oomph in weather or bring, brings what we call dynamics upper troughs and those are going to churn towards the US bringing that risk for some oomph in the weather in the form of some pretty nasty weather storms, severe storms, and maybe even a tornado risk in places. Several times with these upper troughs, and you look at all the wiggly lines, you go, there's a lot going on. Getting into the business end of autumn, we're getting more twists and bends and more speed in the jet stream for the southern hemisphere. One particular cold spell will move up across Argentina and across parts of Paraguay. Uh, Africa as well, we'll see the same surge of cold air. And that thing there, watch for that, that's gonna be a surge of some colder weather to move into parts of at the south and east of Australia. Look at that thing, bend in. Where you get a bend, that of course is oomph dynamics, where of course it bends the other way. Like watch this guy here, that's one severe out outbreak there from probably the plains into the south and east of the US, second half of the week. There'll be several, and you can see how they're bending through. The weather's quiet over Europe, the jet stream is further north, but that doesn't mean there is a bit of unsettled weather, and there will be across parts of the Mediterranean the colors. When you see the orange and the red, that's warmer than all. Blue is cooler. Watch out for some cool surges. One being that blob there heading to Australia. Another one moving into parts of Argentina and also Paraguay. Cold there. Temperatures 10 to 15 degrees colder than normal. Look at that. Melbourne could have single figure highs by the later part of the week and we'll have ups and downs but you see some of these red blobs here across parts of well north into Canada will get with those systems coming out of the Pacific they'll be sending surges of some warmth too into parts of really well north in the Canada. So this is the first system here. That's the first one that will churn through. It wound up looking low, snow on its extreme top edge. That will go through in the first part of the week. Then we bring in the fire hose jet stream, and this is a severe weather outbreak here with some storms. The second one comes through in the second half of the week where you see the yellow blobs. Those are intense thunderstorms to wrap themselves through. That thing then winds itself up. So. Do watch out for that with some pretty nasty weather getting into the business end of what is the tornado season. Temperature wise, you look at these colors. We've had the cold air, what's left of the polar vortex, just sitting there across the north of Canada. That where the area blue is, notice that will just slowly fade through. See how you get these yellow and orange surges? That's some of that warmth coming out. So up into the prairies and well north, almost into the Canadian Arctic, we'll be seeing temperatures well into double figures. If not some places, you could be talking like Edmonton, uh, could be close to 25 degrees through the course of the week. Look at the orange, where you see that white, that's triple digit heat, 100 degrees, already seen it to the desert southwest, could see that again. And there'll be more surges of coal coming in behind that, behind our various storm systems. Across Europe, Mother Nature can't make up her mind. You've got lumps of low pressure here, here. You've got areas of weak high pressure in places, wet weather moving into the British Isles, but it slowly starts to settle down into high pressure. If you notice, one high forms across the northern parts of the continent for the second half of the week. The high over the North and East Atlantic is pretty puny at the moment, so that's why you don't have a high settling in. Instead, still rather unsettled across the Mediterranean. Another cold surge, that surge of blue over Scandinavia. That'll be a theme to watch out for. Still need the warm layers there, but that's how we end a better looking weekend next weekend over the British Isles. And then we head to the Indian Ocean. Things are going across there. This is the time of year where we're getting into the pre-monsoon heat. And of course the Indian monsoon, one of the biggest weather engine rooms across the planet. That's when you get the surge of storms. Most of them now sitting to the south, but we're getting to the time where we start seeing kinks in the jet stream. And when we do get these kinks and the trade winds are moving north, we can sometimes get these pre-monsoon tropical cyclones. India there, big mountain of warm air, the blue, but that little disturbance there, guess what that could be? That could be a forming tropical cyclone just in this area of blue in the Andaman Sea. 
Watch this going through the course of the week. Where you get high pressure aloft and you get the right twist of winds and an upper disturbance, da-da, watch for that thing there. That could be then tracking towards perhaps Bangladesh and northern eastern parts of India later in the week. And of course, the monsoon is not far away. Completely different story to the southern hemisphere. I've mentioned the cold. The polar vortex is really going. That's South, South America, that's Australia, and where you see the bits touching the ground, that's where you're getting the cold air. There'll be more cold surges to come through. Take a look at Australia this week. Here it is. That green, that's a surge of cold. Single figure highs, Melbourne and that blue, that'll be snow into the southeastern mountains there. Snow level dropping below a thousand meters. Where you see the orange, we could also be seeing temperatures to parts of eastern New Zealand well into the 20s, maybe even middle 20s in that warm northwest flow on the other side of things later this week. That's the weather for now.